Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 150. And it is time for our next bush race. I keep forgetting to check up on my modified dude though. Cause he just had another race at uh, at New Ham uh, New Hampshire, which is where we're going. Finished 18th, that's about par for the course for him, so whatever. Made me another couple thousand bucks. But anyways, New England 200 NASCAR Bush Series at New Hampshire. Let's go! EA Sports welcomes you to Loudoun and the New Hampshire International Speedway. We're in store for plenty of NASCAR Bush Series action as we approach race time in the running of the New England 200. This track is widely regarded as one of the toughest on the Bush Series schedule. The correct braking points will be critical as these drivers pick up lots of speed on the straightaways before diving into these long, tight corners. We're just moments away from the green flag. Okay, so I actually have no idea where I'm starting in this race because I, uh, well, I didn't look at the screen when it was showing my qualifying results, and I didn't look at the screen there when it was showing the starting order, so, yeah, <laughs> about that. I guess I'll just find out now. Where am I starting? Ooh, I'm starting in six, okay. That's actually a lot higher than I was expecting, because I had my first qualifying lap, I was only 16th fastest, so... Didn't think I was going to improve that much on lap 2, as I completely ruined everything immediately. Ruining everything immediately, holy shit, alright. Great start. Fantastic start, 10 out of 10, alright, anyways. Let's, uh, let's put that behind us, and let's try to use these 49 laps to recover and maybe get back in the top 10 at least. Top 5 would be awesome. I fucked it. I very much fucked it. <laughs> Somehow that was not a very huge accident, Harry, but it was really damn close. Let's go 4 wide. Speaking of very huge accidents, let's go 4 wide at New Hampshire. Why the hell not? <laughs> I like to live dangerously. I didn't even gain much from going four wide there. I think I only passed like one of the cars in that pile. Yeah, well, it's fine. Just keep going. At least the cobbler is very stable around here, so I can get away with doing shit like that. At least at the start. I don't know about when my tires start wearing out. But at least here in these uh, opening couple laps. Good. Ooh. Outside, outside. Good, we're good. We're up to 13th. We got Kenny Wallace. Hot on my tail. Diving! Doing a heckin' dive. Holy crap. Alright. And doing another heckin' dive on the Sad Bear. Cobbler is superior to Sad Bear. Let it be known. Such a wide-ass entry to turn three. It's quite nice. Alright, so if I last complete, I'm back into the top ten. After that horrific start. Oh no, stay on the bottom, stay on the bottom. I think now that things have uh, kind of settled here. It doesn't look like I'm going to be gaining much, many, if any, more spots, at least in this first half of the race. Going full 80s mode. You know, Cameron, I have to say, till now, I always got by on my own. 
I never really cared until I met you, though. I don't fucking know. And before, that's not 80s. Oh, God. A little too aggressive of an entry into turn three that time. I went for the heckin' swing, but, uh, didn't quite work out. Meanwhile, Kyle's back to his winning ways after Hornaday's, uh, couple races, well, I say couple races. Hornaday dominated at Milwaukee. Wonder who Jesse's girl is. I don't know, but I wish I had her. Why can't I find a woman like that? We're just going to be referencing 80s songs throughout this entire race, aren't we? I think that's what what the theme of this uh, this segment's going to be. Kenny's still trying hard to get around me. So far, I've still been successfully, just barely successfully, defending my position. Is Carl going to have a flippin' good time? He might. Dun, 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 dun. Our chat is joining in now. Oh god, Kenny, hi, hi. I am not your wife's big titties, don't do that. That was kind of my fault, because I keep I keep forgetting they like go start going wide to exit the turn a lot sooner than I do. I never adjust. Jason. <laughs> but Harry, what if I want to take you on? It's okay, I'll be gone in a day or two. Hey, look who's back. Took some stack or two, now he's back on my ass. Oh, oh, okay. Kenny. Oh, he's pitting. He's one of the undercutters, alright. I'm like, what the hell happened, Kenny? time here without Kenny on my ass all I have to say is here in my car I feel safest of all I would lock my doors but since this car doesn't actually have doors it's fine still the only way to live in cars Mm 
or if they modeled you in the stands. Honestly, they probably just like took a couple pictures of like the dev staff, like some members of the dev team, fucking just made a 2D uh, texture for them, really shitty 2D texture, and just copy pasted them sporadically in the grandstands. Oh god, hi Blue, how you doing? Suddenly. No, no, oh god, we're gonna go three wide. Please, no, okay. We're good. JJ backed off, just ever so slightly. I think we've reached that threshold where, uh... My grip levels are... Yeah, too shit, that they're... Uh, able to pass me on the outside with relative ease. Zero out of ten realism, there's no way it stands at New Hampshire this full. Maybe in 2018. In 2004, that might have been a slightly different story. Oh god, oh god. Okay, no, I'm just gonna give him the spot. He went all the way down on the apron. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just not going to uh, to contest that. There we go. I can think of words. The track is almost almost empty because of shit. I don't know. I kind of like New Hampshire. It's different. It's interesting. Oh, and into the wall goes Bliss. Alright, so down to 13, so like effectively probably 15. So suck my dick, Manny. I don't have as much gri grip as you. Da, 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 da. Third least favorite track in NASCAR ahead of Indy and Pocono, really. I can understand Indy because, yeah, that's a pretty bad track in terms of modern standards. Pocono, though, is pretty damn good still. I don't know. Then there's Daytona and Talladega, which are just shit. Lap 25, I can pit now. I'm sure this car is uh, desperate to get some fresh rubber on there. Alright, anyways, let's... Let's, uh, yeah, lower that wedge a little bit. Not sure if I should increase the pressure, I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Indy needs some severe safety updates. Like, they need to fucking line the entire outside wall with, uh, safer barriers. I still have no idea how they've gotten away with not doing that. Especially with the Indy 500 and the insane speeds that those cars take. Things that make you go, hmm. Oh hey, there's Kenny. Also, why the hell is he all the way up there? Kenny, that's not where the road goes. Let's get some heat in my tires. Maybe I can catch him. Pass him back. Probably not. Thinking a uh, top 10 finish is not in the cards for this race. Maybe 15? Yeah, I remember that crash, Harry, and Elliot Sadler. 
the the most memorable thing about that Sadler crash at Pokemon was the fact that e the none of the ESPN cameramen fucking captured it. They were too busy focus focusing on the other car that was crashing in front of ahead of them. Meanwhile, Elliot hits the wall so hard that it rips the entire engine out of the chassis. It's like, oh, Jesus. That was a really hard crash. I'm actually surprised that Sadler got out of the car and was like only winded or bruised. Because holy fuck. Eric McClure and Dega. I actually don't know what crash that you're talking about there. So I've caught Kenny. I'm actually a little surprised about that. So now I use the power of the dive bomb technique and also a pick caused by a back marker. This photo laugh. Look at this fucking shit. Do a slight slide job on that guy so he doesn't try to drive back around me. And thus begins the pit cycle. Well, the main part of the pit cycle. Sugar pour down on me. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. What even is this chat? I don't know. It just devolved into insanity. So business as usual. I'm trying to sneak around Dwayne here. Tiny, help me. Give me your big tiny. I was so close to clearing him, but not quite. Dang. Oh well, there was an attempt. You could be now. go. Tiny helping me out. Held up Dwayne a little bit as he entered the pits. Assist goes to Tiny Buchanan. Right, so running 20th, I assume there's only like a couple cars left to pit. So yeah, top 10 is definitely not happening. Top 20 will be uh I might have to work for it a little bit, I don't know. Well, I'm in 15th now, so... It won't be as difficult to hold on to as I thought. Oh god. Tried the dive bomb on Bliss, didn't work. Remember McDowell in Texas? That was his qualifying crash that you're talking about, isn't it? I remember that. That was in my meme. We are number one meme video. <laughs> Be careful not to... Be there. <laughs> Be careful not to go hard right. Smash. Outside, 
Come on, hang with him through the center. Get him, get him. Got him. I got him. I think I got him. Just barely clear. All right. Oh, that's fucking dive from like five miles away. Gotta go. Alright, see you, Jason. Get out while you still can. Make your sweet escape. Remember Christopher Bell at Daytona when he went full irising mode? You mean he intentionally wrecking people? Or something? Cause that's that's full eye racing mode. Help him sucking. I was doing so well and now this past lap everything has gone to shit. On. No, damn it. Bring it back down. No, car, what the hell? When suddenly the car decides that it doesn't want to go, well, the back of the car, at least. Holy shit, alright. Maybe this top 20 is not going to be as easy to hold onto as I initially thought. Because the car is doing a bunch of shit right now that I don't approve of. We still got nine laps to go. A big old pile of cars behind me. I am quickly losing grip. Pretty much the only spot on the track I have an advantage now is into turn three. Into. Everywhere else I'm just trying to hang on. And middle of one and two is pretty alright it seems. Remember Josh Dumb? The only thing I remember Josh Wise is the uh, Dogecoin car. Which I still fucking love that. I, I was firmly, like, in support of the Doge car. How to win NASCAR summon Exodia. Yeah, how do you think Chase won at, uh, Watkins Glen? He finally got the last piece of Exodia. The three wide behind me. I'm scared. Shit. Oh, just barely clipped back of that guy. Mike, what are you doing? Don't do this. Fuck. So about that top 20. Oh no, oh no. Everything's going wrong. Calm down. Calm it down. Remember Hut Strickland? I too remember NASCAR 98. Alright, we're good. Everything is fine. Let's try to play to what little strengths we have remaining and maybe recover a little bit as they go almost four wide behind me. So, entry to turn three in middle of one and two is where I'm at my best. Again, let's try to play into those strengths. It's actually a really strong recovery I'm doing right now. Just quickly back into the top 15. Stephen Wall. I mean, the guy who's more crash prone than Danica. Oh, and we have a caution. Okay. I wonder what happened there. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I see car in the wall behind me. Oh, wow. Alright, so let's see. We have Terry Cook, Ashton Lewis, and a 
fantasy driver all piling into turn three. And yeah, that was just way too many cars trying to fit into too small of a space. That, that was just... yeah. Honestly, that was inevitable considering how tightly packed like fucking 20 of us were there. We're gonna finish under caution. Yes, we are. Okay. Well then, aggressive goes around. Alright, well, race ends under caution, and I take 13th, so... Cool. I'll take it. Well, that was kind of a uh, bummer way to end the race, because that was a lot of fun, that second half. As st stressful as it was, but there we go. So there we go, Kyle Busch takes a very dominating, dominant win under caution. And I end up 13th, so... Good result for me. Good result for me. I will take that. Considering how the race started and how I, much I struggled throughout the race, 13th is perfectly fine with me. So yeah. Alright, so, oh hey, we're gonna c congratulate a very large-faced Kyle Busch in victory lane. Sure. It's fine. That's totally what it looks like. Nothing wrong there. I don't know. Anyway, so. Another race down, another pretty good result, and that, well, I'm still in third place in the points. 122 behind Hornaday. Still pretty good, considering I've missed an entire race, so, yeah. Hey. But, um, that will conclude this segment, so... <coughs> Excuse me, New Hampshire down. And next time, we're going to continue some short track racing, so stay tuned for that.